welcome back. This is Bazdog once again, and we are here for another tips and tricks video. Uh, this time, we're going to have a look at team composition and where, you know, your positioning on the map. So, um, if you don't know what this series is about, uh, it's sort of like tips and tricks for people of varying skill levels from all the way down the Silver Leagues to, I don't know, somewhere near DMG. I'd find this pretty applicable because you probably... You'll probably have like a team or a group of close friends that you will play with when you're above that. So, yeah. So, if everyone else, I thought I should cover some pretty basic things uh, about your team, about how you want to compose the weapons in your team, and where you want to keep those guys situated. So, in a basic team of Counter-Strike, uh, by the way, you can sort of pretend that this is Galils and AKs if you want for the terrorist team, but... For, for your team, you want to have pretty much, as a standard, you want to have at least one guy every round, or most rounds, not all the rounds. And depending on map, of course, you can change it up, but you'll want to have someone who's pretty damn good with a sniper rifle. Now, this can be either the AWP or the Scout. Now, the other other people in the team, four of them, you'll want, you want assault rifles. Bottom line, you need assault rifles for days. Um, it's become kind of a common misconception that a sniper gets all the kills. They, they, they don't. They don't. There's like two that do, and that's because they do aggressive orping or aggressive sniping of some description. That's JW. And of course, the old Kenny S, the man himself. But usually, your assault guys will get all the kills because they'll just roll around and be like, oh, look, enemy. And he's dead. And the, the main point of a sniper... This is a little bit off topic, but it's kind of still based in the same area. Um, is to get information and to get a pick. Not for a lot of like other stuff. Like honestly, in my opinion, avoid doing too much aggressive sniping because if he goes fuck up, then you lose a really expensive gun. So keep that in mind. Team stuff, all that sort of thing. All right. Um, in your team too, if if you've got people that are really good with these, like on my team, we've got two dudes who are really really good with assault rifles. Um, and that, that's, that's awesome because you, you need those guys to kind of clean up, get entry frags, that sort of thing. But in other rounds, there can be different circumstances. For example, the Mag-7. This is a great gun. If you guys are on eco or any, like one guy's got a bit more money or, or you know, you just, you're in a good ambushing position. You know, you hold an angle, hold, hold the corner. You got the swag. You can jump, shoot, and it's accurate. See, like that. That that's it's a, it's a it's a really really good gun, and of course you get the uh, the bonus money for it being a shotgun. So that's good to keep in mind. You may want to switch it up. You may want to go like I wouldn't suggest five dudes with shotguns because then if it's any kind of range, unless you've got a decent pistol or your skills pretty good with a pistol, you're gonna it's gonna get fuck up. Next next weaponry, um, SMGs. Now this this is a this is an interesting area. You never see an MP9. You just don't see him, so we'll just, we'll just we'll get rid of him. We don't need that. You might see a UMP, really good gun, especially if you're, if you're like second round, you can aggressively buy to keep them, you know, kind of wary about what's going on. The Bison, well, it's a bit interesting. Uh, a lot of people don't use the Bison, they don't find it to be the most helpful gun. And of course, that's up to personal preference. And the MP7, again, not really a scene guns. Let's just let's get rid of that. So that's basically what you want to keep in mind. For your SMGs, you want to use this if they have no armor. So second round, if you know that... Well, if you can kind of assume they're not going to armor pistol buy. UMPs are great second round, regardless of armor. It doesn't give a shit. Really accurate gun. Really, really good. One of my personal favorite SMGs. And then later on, for any round, if you're in close range, you should use AP-90. If you, if you can't really assault rifle. Um, otherwise, keep your four dudes on assault, one sniper, and maybe a shotgun if the need arises. So, let's talk about positioning. When, when you look at a map, and this is just for another example, on, uh, on Mirage, you have your backup sniper position here. Because uh, usually you want to have your sniper floating between the connector, here, and then in mid-window, over there. Um, you want to have a guy probably on short just to give him a bit of a hand. He'll want to have an assault rifle or maybe even SMG. I wouldn't suggest it though because the range here is a bit long. You know, you might not be able to get the kills. Um, and then back on A, you'll have your backup sniper over there. He'll switch between an assault rifle 
or maybe some ambush tactics, and then he can get nice entry frags from uh, from this box here. You get a nice, nice little window, or from this box here, you have a nice window. Um, your main sniper will come out here. He'll watch Palace if need be. But otherwise, you want to have a guy on site somewhere around, just just hanging. He could be here, just keep an eye on here with an assault rifle. Could be under here with an assault rifle, in here with assault rifle. But you're seeing the distances. So if you've got a guy here, you probably don't want him to have anything. Well, if you've got an assault rifle, you can make that shot. You can kill a guy down the bottom ramp. It's awesome. See, this shot's a bit more strenuous, but you can definitely make it. Taking a shot from, like, on this box to Palace with an assault rifle, that's a bit rough. This corner here with an assault rifle, a bit rough. So if, you, if you're getting the distances in mind, you'll start to notice where to use the right weaponry. But the main thing is keep your sniper where he's valuable and don't risk it. If you Like, for example, if you're not totally confident and you're just trying to show off or something, I don't know why, no one cares. It's not it's not a game for really showing off, honestly. It's it's just not. Like, if you get nice kills, you should be like, yeah, fucking good work, good work, boys. Good round. And then you move on. There's no real... I mean, there's kind of bragging rights, but that's really for COD. This is about team. Teams win rounds, not individual people. So if you're not good enough with a weapon, tell your team, keep them informed of what your skills are, what your skill set is. And then, like, for example, if you've got no one who's good with assault, um, assault rifles, and you say, man, I can't snipe for shit, but I'm pretty handy with an M4. They'll give you one, you'll come out on top. So keep that in mind. And get out there, enjoy some matchmaking, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.